Well, man, I'm sure this is a moment that you've been thinking about, <laughs> dreaming about perhaps. How good does it feel to actually be sitting up there as the ultimate fighting champion? It feels incredible. Um, it feels like it's the start of my journey. It's, the, it's day one, you know? So this is my first day on a job in the UFC. You know, like now I can put the UFC stuff on and feel accomplished, and uh, yeah. Some MMA fans are aware that UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman has a younger brother fighter. But few people know this fighter. His biography is past. Everyone remembers his knockout, which occurred at a recent tournament, and the past fights, and much more fans alas do not know. Hello fighters with you MMA Iron Channel. In this video, I will talk about the shocking fights of Mohamed Usman in MMA. But before starting this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and put a like so that fans of this fighter will notice this video. The Usman family moved from Nigeria to the United States when the brothers were 8 and 6 years old, respectively. Kamaru and Mohammed began freestyle wrestling at school. The elder Kamaru continued to develop in this direction, and the younger Mohammed retrained as a player in American football. When Mohammed failed to break into the NLF Professional League, which meant that his prospects in football were very dim, he followed the example of his older brother and returned to martial arts. To date, Mohamed Usman, nicknamed Motor, has a record in the pros of 7-2. Usman has outgrown his brother and is competing in the heavyweight division. In March of this year, Mo Usman signed a contract to participate in the Grand Prix of the PFL League. The winner of the tournament will receive $1 million. Experts consider the younger Usman one of the most talented heavyweights in the world. Kamaru Usman is known to be a practicing Muslim. Faith occupies a significant place in his life. So once in his interview, he said that he would never fight Kabi Nurmagomedov because they are brothers in faith with him. It is all the more unexpected that his own brother has become a Christian and always appears in public with a Christian cross around his neck. But religious differences did not affect the relationship of the brothers. Living in different cities and training in different halls, they find the opportunity to come to the battles and support each other. Now I would like to tell you who Mohammed Usman is. He is 33 years old, but he is still seen among the promising. The current record is 7-2, which is why questions about the prospects hardly arise. As a typical heavyweight representative, he tries to finish the fight in the rack. However, Usman is not large enough for this division. With a height of 188 cm, his weight is 107 kg. For example, USC champion Francis Ngannou weighs 116 kg with a height of 193 cm. Mohammed's striking technique is mediocre. He hits the nail on and rarely resorts to series. Since it weighs less than 110 kg, not every opponent lies on the canvas. On the example of the last official fight against Brandon Sales, you can see that he still does not hold the blow well. From there, two knockdowns took place and after the second, Usman gave up his back and fell asleep in a grip. And we'll start with Muhammad's debut fight in MMA. Then he had no experience and for this fight became very exciting, but he was able to surprise everyone. The fight starts and Mohammed quickly pins his opponent to the cage and tries to make a takedown. A few seconds later, he manages to do it. After he made a takedown, he started trying to finish the fight in various ways, and he succeeded. He grabbed his opponent's hand and made a move called Kimura, a brilliant debut from Kamaru's brother Usman. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 16 seconds into round number one, your referee Jason McCoy stops about for your winner. But when tap out, Muhammad the Motor Usman. He decided not to take breaks between fights and enter the octagon after two months. All in the same promotion. Mohammed understood that he needed a victory for further advancement and he was able to do it. Mohammed, as in his debut fight, with the help of his mass, pressed his opponent to the cage and after a while made a takedown. From the corner of Uthman clearly shouted to do Kimura. He 
heard this, and after a couple of seconds, he was able to force his opponent to surrender. And thus he has two victories in a row. Not a bad start in MMA. Mohamed Usman has already managed to move to the solid MMA organization Titan and has already been able to win the first fight. Now he has a second fight. Will he be able to repeat the success of the first fight? The beginning of the fight, Usman wanted to make a takedown, but his opponent competently defends and several times hits the head of Mohamed, who is shocked, again tries to make a takedown and again Uthman's opponent defends. For Mohamed it was a test and he passed it. After a few seconds, he manages to make a takedown. After a while, he will take a dominant position and begin to hit the head of his opponent. A few of these punches, and the referee stops the fight. Another victory for Mohammed Uthman Avenue. After two minutes of the first round, winner by TKO, Mohammed Usman! This fight in which Mohammed again shocked the world. He defeated every opponent, and now the promotion decided to give him a new one. But will he be able to defeat him? It will show the future, and let's fly there right now. The fight begins calmly. The fighters get used to each other by punching jabs on the head. After 30 seconds of the fight, Mohammed presses his opponent to the cage and mistakenly punches below the belt. But Van was able to recover, and the fight continued and Mohammed made a takedown as quickly as possible. He began to try to finish his opponent, various pains, but Van defended himself from everything and then Usman decided to connect his grand and pound, a few such punches, and the referee stopped the fight. It seemed that the fight was over, but no Mohammed hit the back of the head several times, and because of this he loses one ball. What do you think? That Take is it a point. Point. Maybe we can see the replay here in a moment. I, I After the resumption of the fight, Usman again quickly makes a takedown and again tries to make a finish. At first, he tried to make a Kimura, but the opponent defended himself against it. Then Mohammed began to beat his opponent non-stop, and after a while the referee stops the fight and fixes the victory of Mohammed Usman TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, after 4 minutes 52 seconds into round number 1, your winner by way of TKO and the winner, first winner of the Tachi Palace Fights Heavyweight Tournament, Mohamed the Motor Usman. On August 7, UFC on ESPN 40 takes place. On the main card in the octagon, Mohamed Usman and Zach Paga. In addition, the fighters play for the belt of the champion of the Ultimate Fighter. Well, I know you uh, believed that you could be here and that you would make it to this point, but you're here. So what's, uh, what's the feeling right now, knowing, you know, one step away from being in the UFC? The feeling feels great. Uh, I feel blessed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I just feel I'm just in the moment. I'm just taking it one step at a time, one day at a time. And, uh, I, you know, I knew I was going to be here. I knew this was all going to happen. I knew this was all going to come to fruition. And then uh, I just put the work in and, uh, you know, you reap the rewards. Spectacularly knocked out the opponent. When you look at the fight itself, you know, you guys are both big guys. You both hit hard. So either one could get caught with something. But did you anticipate that you were going to be putting him to sleep tonight? Is that how you saw the fight going? 100%. Um, me, I manifested this moment. Um, I, me and my coaches worked, we worked, we worked. And that's the number one thing, we worked on it. We worked on putting him away because he knows that I have power, but he's never really felt my power. He's only felt me at training. You know, training is, you're not trying to knock nobody out in training. But when you get in that octagon, you're trying to put somebody's lights out, and um, that's what I did.